Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem F8-6 from R.C. Hippeler Engineering Statics 14th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the minimum coefficient of static friction between the uniform 50 kg spool and the wall so that the spool does not slip. So to solve this problem, first of all, we have to draw the free body diagram of this spool. So the spool is supported by this cable. So we have a tensile force. We have a contact force at point A. And we also have a frictional force. And as the spool would move downwards, if not supported by this cable, then the frictional force would oppose this downward movement. So the frictional force would act in the upward direction. We also have a weight force acting in the downward direction. So this is our free body diagram. Let's label them. Let's call this T. This is FA. This is NA. And this is the weight. Let's call this W. Now we have to resolve this force T into its components. So we have a vertical component and the horizontal component. If this angle is 60 degrees, that angle is also 60 degrees because they are corresponding angles. So the vertical component is T cos 60 and the horizontal component is T sin 60. So this is our free body diagram. Now we can apply our equations of equilibrium. So my first equation is summation of moments at point A equals to 0. I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. Since the line of action of FA and NA is passing through the point A, so these two forces do not have any momentum with respect to the point A. So FA and NA will not produce any moment about the point A. We have the weight force which is trying to rotate the spool in counterclockwise direction about the point A. So the moment produced by this weight of the spool will be taken as positive. So for the weight we have 50 into 9.81 and the moment arm is 0 0.6 meters. Now for T cos 60 for T cos 60 the moment arm is this distance and for this moment arm we have to consider the diagram and we have to use little bit of geometry. So if I just copy this image of this spool, if I draw a tangent line and if I draw a parallel line through the center of the spool. And if I connect these two with a radial segment and we know that that the radial segment is always perpendicular to the tangent. So if I draw a straight line through the center of this spool and if this angle is 60 degrees, that angle is also 60 degrees because they are corresponding angles. And if this angle is 60 degrees, that angle has to be 60 degrees as well because they are corresponding angles. So it means that the angle inside of this triangle is 30 degrees. So for the moment arm, We have to consider this distance which is 0 0.6 plus this distance and for this distance x we can consider this triangle And if I draw it separately, then it would look something like this.
this is 90 degrees this is 30 degrees and this length is 0 0.3 meters as the radius of the smaller circle so for the distance x we can use the ratio of sine so sine 30 is equals to opposite which is x over the hypotenuse which is 0 0.3 so x is 0 0.3 sine 30 so x plus 0 0.6 meters is the moment term for t cos 60 So T cos 60 is trying to rotate the spool in clockwise direction about the point A. So the moment produced by this T cos 60 will be taken as negative. So let me just copy it down. So we have negative T cos 60. And the moment arm is 0 0.6 plus X. So 0 0.6 plus x is 0 0.3 sin 30. And for t sin 60, it is also trying to rotate the spool in clockwise direction about the point A. So the moment produced by this t sin 60 will be taken as negative. So we have negative t sin 60. And the moment arm is this distance, which is actually this length of the triangle. So 0 0.3 cos 30 equals to 0. So upon simplification, we have 294.3 minus 0 0.375t minus 0 0.225 t equals to 0 so upon simplification t comes out to be 490.5 newtons now using this value of t we can figure out the coefficient of static friction and if you guys have any questions in finding the x then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. So now we can move on towards the coefficient of static friction. So if I zoom out, for the coefficient of static friction, as given in the problem that the spool does not slip, so it means as the spool does not slip, it means the frictional force Fa can be written as the coefficient of static friction into the normal force Na. So we have to find both the Fa and Na. So for Na, we can do summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have T sin 60 minus Na equals to 0. So Na is T sin 60 and T is 490.5 Newtons into sin 60. So Na comes out to be 424. 0.8 newtons now we have to find the force fa so for fa we can do summation of forces in y direction equals to 0 i am considering up direction as positive so we have fa minus the weight force which is 50 into 
प्लस टी कॉस सिक्सटी इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो अपॉन सिंप्लीफिकेशन वी हैव एफ ए माइनस फोर नाइंटी पॉइंट फाइव प्लस टी कॉस सिक्सटी एंड टी इज फोर नाइंटी पॉइंट फाइव इंटू कॉस सिक्सटी इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो अपॉन सिंप्लीफिकेशन एफ ए कम्स आउट टू बी टू फोर्टी फाइव पॉइंट टू फाइव न्यूटन्स एंड वी कैन सब्सिट्यूट इट इन टू दिस इक्वेशन सो दोफिशेंट ऑफ स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन इज एफ ए ओवर एन ए सो टू फोर्टी फाइव पॉइंट टू फाइव ओवर फोर ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट एट so coefficient of static friction comes out to be 0.577 so this is our final answer so this is it for this problem i hope you would find this video helpful if you do please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and if you have any questions or any doubts in the free body diagram or in finding the distance x or in the equations of equilibrium then feel free to ask in the comment section and i will try to answer them as soon as possible thank you